Happy Monday, everybody. My name is Brandon Rosa, and welcome to episode 130 of the Xbox in 10 podcast, your weekly source of Xbox gaming news covered in around 10 minutes. Every Monday, this podcast covers new game releases, the previous week's gaming news, and we all learn an Xbox-related fun fact together. This show is on YouTube and podcast services around the world, so please do me a favor, subscribe on your favorite, and leave me a review. Xboxin10.com, no numbers, is your quick source for links to all of our podcast destinations and social media profiles, which you can follow at Xboxin10. To start, let's talk game releases. The big game out last week, and the biggest one of this show's history thus far, the Halo Infinite multiplayer, technically beta. The games coming out this week include Farming Simulator 22, Deer Simulator, your average everyday deer game, Cricket 22, the official game of the Ashes, Asterix and Oblix, Slap Them All, Little Bug, and Battlefield 2042 official release. Now onto last week's biggest news stories, and we have seven to cover this week. Number one, Xbox celebrates 20 years of gaming joy by making the Halo Infinite multiplayer beta available for everyone. Credit to Will Tuttle over at Xbox Wire. Today we mark 20 years of Xbox and Halo with a celebration of players, game developers, and creators around the world. Over the past 20 years, the Xbox community has made gaming a place of joy, inspiration, education, and social connection, forging bonds between friends and family and giving people new ways to connect. We've been together through a lot, four generations of Xbox consoles, countless events and game launches, iconic cultural moments like the Xbox Series X mini fridge, and recent partnerships with Adidas, Mac Cosmetics, and more. As we embark on epic back-to-back blockbuster game launches in Xbox Game Pass, with current AAA game launches of Age of Empires 4, Forza Horizon 5, and Halo Infinite in December, the future has never been more exciting or limitless. Our players are at the heart of everything we do and we couldn't be more thankful for your incredible support. The last 20 years have been an amazing ride and we're already hard at work on the road ahead. We can't wait to share the next 20 years with you. Halo Infinite Multiplayer Beta is available now. As a thank you to the Xbox community for 20 years of support, 343 Industries launched the free-to-play Halo Infinite Multiplayer Beta in Season 1 three weeks early. Available starting now for all players on Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and Windows PC. It will also be available via Xbox Cloud Gaming starting later today. Players can enjoy the Season 1 content including all maps, core modes, academy features, and battle pass, and all of their progress carries over into the Halo Infinite launch on December 8th. For complete details on Halo Infinite Multiplayer Beta, head over to Halo Waypoint. Power On, the story of Xbox releases on December 13th. This December, we invite you to go behind the scenes and discover the true story behind the creation of Xbox and the 20-year journey that followed. Told by the team that lived at Power On, the story of Xbox is a documentary series that takes you back to the scrappy beginnings of Xbox, as a passion project from a small group of gamers within Microsoft, it continues through the generations and shares never-before-seen details about some of Xbox's biggest challenges, like the dreaded Red Ring of Death. All six episodes will be available watch globally starting December 13th on a variety of video platforms including Roku, IMDb TV, YouTube, Redbox, and others. And celebrate 20 years of Xbox with over 70 new backwards-compatible games. Our backward compatibility program has made it possible for fans around the globe to discover and replay thousands of games spanning our 20-year history. Commemorate 20 years of Xbox with over 70-plus new Xbox 360 and original Xbox games being added to our backward compatibility library today on both Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. We also enabled FPS Boost for 11 of those titles we added today, and 26 titles more from the existing library. In addition, we're bringing FPS Boost to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta for select titles when played from the cloud. What a lot to share, go watch this 20 year anniversary stream, it was so hyped, the lead into the announcement of Halo Infinite multiplayer beta, I screamed, I rejoiced, I'm absolutely addicted to the multiplayer now, in ways I really didn't imagine. It's so cool to finally get our hands on it, the full experience, it's so good, there's obviously some opportunity for improvement, but it is set up to succeed so well given the false comings of Battlefield 2042 and Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm also really excited for this documentary. I love the nitty gritty of Xbox and its history, and it's going to be cool to watch it in a video documentary form. Also, it is cool to see these 70 new backwards compatible games, but the other news is this is the last batch of backwards compatible games that we're going to get for the console as it stands. There's just too many licensing issues that they have announced, so enjoy what you have and play on your new consoles. Number two, Halo Infinite Battle Pass progression has already been smoothed out. Logan Plant at IGN writes, Just days after launch, 343 is already addressing issues players have with Halo Infinite's Battle Pass. On Twitter, Halo Community Manager John Jusek said changes are coming already later this week. For starters, 343 is adding a Play One Game Challenge, which will reward players by simply playing games. They are also adjusting or removing some weekly challenges based on player feedback designed to help speed up through the Battle Pass. The developers are also doubling the duration of double XP boosts from 30 minutes to an hour, after complaints that the boosts weren't very valuable. 
especially when playing Infinite's big team battle matches that can last upwards of 20 minutes. Juicek adds that this is just the first set of changes and the game will continue to evolve based on player feedback. It's cool to see them react so quickly to these problems with the game. We say they're problems in that Halo never had a battle pass before, the core gameplay is so good, they will get to this, they will make it better, the progression is very slow, but the main thing keeping me come back to the game is the gameplay, and it is top tier. Number 3. Halo Infinite Co-op Campaign and Forge Delayed Further into 2022 Matt Brown at Windows Central writes, while Halo Infinite remains on track to hit December 8th release date, its upcoming cooperative campaign and Forge modes have suffered yet another delay. Developer 343 Industries previously outlined plans to launch its next mainline Halo game without the two modes, promising each via future updates in the months after launch. It follows recent changes to Halo Infinite's post-launch roadmap extending its first multiplayer season three months additional into May of 2022. Halo Infinite's co-op campaign mode and Forge level editor suffered their first delay back in August axing the two features from the launch day plans. Halo Infinite now plans to launch on December 8th as a single player experience, coupled with its free to play multiplayer already available via an ongoing early beta. 343 aimed to deliver co-op alongside season two updates while Forge would follow in season three, slated for three months and six months post launch respectively. While the talk of Halo Infinite is so good considering how good the multiplayer is, this is obviously further sad news that the season one is so very long, which means we're gonna have to wait even that much longer for co-op campaign. I would have really loved to play the campaign with my friends at launch. Unfortunately, it won't be the case. Number 4. Phil Spencer, Xbox Game Pass is very, very sustainable, not burning cash. IGN writes, Since its inception, Xbox Game Pass skeptics have wondered whether Microsoft's popular subscription program is too good to be true. With Xbox generally reluctant to share hard numbers, observers have speculated that the service is being treated as a lost leader in order to build up as many subscriptions as possible. But during a press blitz intended to promote today's Xbox 20th anniversary celebration, Xbox Executive Vice President Phil Spencer said that this isn't the case. Even with subscriber growth beginning to slow, instead he said the service is, quote, very, very sustainable and is continuing to grow, end quote. Quote, I know there's a lot of people that like to write that, that we're burning cash right now for some future pot of gold at the end. No, Game Pass is very, very sustainable right now as it sits and it continues to grow, end quote. I wanted to highlight this as I think this is good news. It still doesn't make sense to me how they're sustainable and not burning cash given that they're giving their games ostensibly free as part of the subscription, but it's good to see that it is sustainable, they like where their numbers are at as we get to benefit as consumers for years to come with Xbox Game Pass. Number 5. Forza Horizon 5 crosses 10 million players as the largest Xbox Game Pass launch ever. Zachary Boddy at Windows Central writes, Forza Horizon 5 is indubitably one of the best Xbox games you can play and has amassed widespread critical acclaim across the board including from us. Forza Horizon 5 had already crossed 4.5 million players within its first 24 hours of being officially available, but now it has been confirmed that Forza Horizon 5 has crossed another incredible milestone. Less than 10 days after its release, it has now over 10 million players. Any game hitting 10 million players is an accomplishment worth celebrating, but Forza Horizon 5 has achieved the feat in record time, apparently making it the largest game launched in Xbox and Xbox Game Pass history. Playground's latest masterpiece deserves it as well. We concluded in our Forza Horizon 5 review that the studio delivered, quote, unchallenged champion of open world racers, end quote, with something for almost any player to enjoy. We gotta give credit where credit's due. This game is clearly amazing. It's absolutely beautiful from the one hour I played, just not a racing game fan myself, and I think it's absolute crime that they did not get nominated for Game of the Year at the Game Awards. What this also instills is further confidence that Playground Games is gonna deliver a masterpiece, hopefully, with Fable. Number 6. Saint Rail Delay Confirmed as Colorful Reboot Now Set for August Ben Tyre at GamesRadar writes, A Saint Row Delay has seen the game move from its original release date of February 25th to August 23rd of 2022. In a post on the Saints Row website, Jim Boone, Chief Creative Officer at Developer Volition, writes, Quote, Our priority is to create the best Saints Row game yet, and if we release on the original date, it wouldn't be up to the standards we've set ourselves and that you're expecting and deserve. The team just need more time to do our vision justice, we're doing some fine tuning and there won't be much change in the game outside of overall quality and polish." End quote. Boone is open that the main reason Volition is pushing the date back is because of the disruption it faced when the COVID-19 pandemic started and the team transitioned to working from home, although Boone is keen to stress that everyone adapted very quickly. The post also clarifies that there are no major changes being made to the game, he says, Quote, rest assured there will not be any changes to the story or the characters or anything that we've lovingly imagined over the last few years and already shared with you, end quote. This delay is not a surprise. I don't think Saints Row the reboot really wowed anyone, but February is already a stacked month with Horizon, Forbidden West, and Elden Ring. 
get out of there, space yourself out, and polish the game up so hopefully you have a chance at success. And number 7, WB's Multiverse Officially Announced features Batman, Arya Stark, and more. Matt Perslow at IGN writes, Warner Bros. has officially announced Multiverses, a Super Smash Bros.-like fighter developed by Player First Games that brings together characters from shows like Scooby-Doo, Adventure Time, Looney Tunes, and even Game of Thrones. It is set to release in 2022 for consoles and PC and will be free to play. Multiverses will support 1v1, 2v2, and 4-player free-for-all matches set on stages themed around the characters available in the game, including the Batcave and Jake and Finn's Tree Fort. An incomplete roster has already been revealed with more to be announced and each one will be voiced by the original acting talent. So far the characters include Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes, Arya Stark of Game of Thrones, Jake the Dog of Adventure Time, Finn Human of Adventure Time, Steven Universe, Garnet of Steven Universe, Tom and Jerry, and Rain Dog, an original character for multiverses. Each character has a unique ability set that has been designed to pair dynamically with other characters. Customization comes via perga loadouts, allowing for some gameplay variety. There are naturally also skins for each character to allow for some visual expression as well as emotes. As a free-to-play game, multiverses will be supported by in-game purchases. Warner Bros. Games has not revealed what those purchases will be, but with a season-based format that will be content-filled. It seems sensible to expect cosmetics at the very least. The trailer also shows what appears to be a battle pass system seen in the menu on the character details page. Multiverses will support cross-play and cross-progression across all of its supported platforms, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS5, PS4, and PC via Steam. Dedicated server-based rollback netcode will support the online gameplay for the life of the game to help reduce lag and disconnects. Guilds and social features will allow you to challenge other groups and climb leaderboards. Well, this game is interesting to look at. It's certainly a unique idea. The free-to-play is a little scary, and it's going up against the behemoth. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is clearly the pack leader in this. I don't know why you would even want to challenge it. It's so very good. But I guess let's see what people think when they get their hands on it next year. As always, we end our show with a fun fact about Xbox, and this one is in reference to the brand Gucci. Credit to Ari Notice at Kotaku. Gucci is selling an Xbox Series X for $10,000. Since the Xbox Series X launched a year ago in two days, it's been impossible to get your hands on one, a situation that's not likely to abate anytime soon, thanks to an ongoing difference of confluence of factors. For some well-heeled gamers, however, there's soon to be another venue. Italian luxury fashion house Gucci will soon sell a small crop customized Xbox Series X consoles plus accoutrements for $10,000. That price tag includes more than just the Series X, which typically sells for $499, for one, it's somewhat snazzier than the typical matte black offering. Gucci's feature laser engraved pattern that, to quote from the marketing copy, is, quote, an evolution of the original Gucci Rombi design from the 30s in which the GG pattern becomes a world play not only representing Gucci Gucci's initials, but also the gaming phrase, good game, end quote. What an interesting thing to look at. I guess go check it out. We live in a wild time indeed. Thank you all for listening to the Xbox and 10 podcast, your weekly source of Xbox gaming news covered in around 10 minutes. If you like the show, please subscribe to your favorite podcast service, share it with your friends, leave a review, and follow on all social media at Xbox and 10. This past week, I've continued to play the Halo Infinite multiplayer beta. I'm loving it. I'm Diamond 3 right now, I think, and ranked. Really enjoying it with my friends, and I'm trying to continue my way through Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm also really enjoying. My name is Brandon Rosie. You can follow me on Xbox at Brosa93. I hope you guys all have a great week. Stay safe and keep on gaming.